Hello everyone, Big A here, and I'm continuing with Hogwarts. Sebastian We're going to learn about a Kavada. I saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop. You swore you wouldn't let Sebastian take this one step further. Yet here we are. He won't listen to reason. I should have stopped him before. Sebastian's in real trouble now. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sebastian must not be in his right mind. Last time we were here, this place was crawling with spiders. We're about to face worse. Let's find Sebastian quickly. Where was Sebastian when you and Anne found him? Just ahead, in the great room. <clears throat> I have actually increased the uh, the difficulty, by the way. So we'll see how well I do. There weren't this many in theory before. <laughs> and there's no sign of Sebastian. Incendio. I was so worried about Sebastian, I didn't even realize. Anne's gone to get Solomon. When she first saw the Inferi, she thought Sebastian was being attacked. But then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it. The carvings on the relic were Inferi, and Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating Inferi is incredibly difficult, but controlling them... As Anne and I frantically barricaded the Inferi to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. When Anne said she couldn't stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the Headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit, make him think it's a family fight. I'll be back as soon as I can. See if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. Be careful. Time to collect all I can so I can make Thunderbrew if need be. How many inferior are there? That was a hard hit. <laughs>
I'm definitely not used to not seeing the the triangle for doing Protego. <laughs> I, I'm trying to get used to it. Um, so these inferi seem far from control. I think I, uh, when I've been doing this, usually, <laughs> I've been paying more attention to the triangle rather than the actual mark of, of what I need to really be paying attention to. So. Oh, that looks different from the last time. Here we go. Is it going to get together? No. Well, how will you? Isn't this incredible? Sebastian, I told you, the relic is the answer. I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it, just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight the Inferi all the way. What have the two of you done? Accio Relic! Uh oh. Solomon. The relic. He definitely does not want to have anything to do with dark magic. That's for sure. Paid for this. Thank you. 
Okay, fine. Time to even the freaking up. Come on. Oh, come on. Uh, I need that. Hey, at least I survived this. Ah, oh, jeez. She cannot be healed, Sebastian. You must stop. Uh, I won't let her suffer. Avana Kedavra. Oh no. That pie was not a good idea. Probably not. I will have to say, though, and in, you know, to defend Sebastian, done? is that he was, he was more stubborn than Sebastian, Solomon. I must get um, out of here. Not exactly a good guy, in a way. Um, I can't let him leave. But, at the same time... Doing the curse was a bad idea either way. The killing curse. Now, of course, in the game with, Sebastian, you know, <laughs> things like the Inferi and, and uh, others that are against me, yeah, that would be a different story. But with someone like that, yeah. That feels like a different story to me. Stop, Sebastian. Now hold on. It's interesting. I noticed that the the, sl the Slytherin and the green of Avada Kedavra is uh, Kavada is uh, 
kind of the same colors. Like it was meant to be like that or something. And it's like what Slytherin it? was meant to use dark magic. Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us, not really. He gave up on Anne. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it... He did attack us. You had no choice. It was brave. So I want to learn it, so, but you otherwise I don't know. Than your uncle ever but did. everybody you learning it. Understand. But. I did do the right thing. You did. I would have done the same. If I knew how. I could teach you. No time like the present. The killing curse won't be easy to master. As with all unforgivables, you have to mean it. Hold your wand steady. Focus. The incantation is Avada Kedavra. Your intention must be clear. Hmm. I actually always think it's more like Abert Kedavra, <laughs> but I know it's, a, it's something I else. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian. Please, I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft, all right? Okay. Time to spend. I think if I'm going to be staying at this level I'm probably gonna do that um, I don't usually use the that maybe that would work out real well I'll just keep that just for now. Okay. Let's meet the puppy. I think there might be something to do with puppy too. Now we'll just follow the road. Actually, it's over here. Bonk. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You made it. I take it this means you had some luck at the library. 
It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Mm. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Accio! Bombarder! Hmm. <laughs> hers, isn't it? Foopers. Foopers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwooper's song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Hmm. I never got mad after I got my Foopers. So I can get their feathers. The moonstone is here and so are Fwoopers. I wonder if it's being protected. Why am I not surprised? Lumos. First the Foopers and now this. Okay. Uh, this one's not gonna work, is it? Mm. None of them start that way. We need to find Lumos. Moss for those spinners. Lumos. So let's see if we can open that. So that would start with. That. Lumos. And then uh, and Lumos. Just it. And then it should open that. Lumos. <laughs> the frog choir. Okay. And another one of those. Let's see here. Okay. Lumos. Yeah. 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 
should open it. <laughs> no kidding. Here we go. Okay. Last one. So let me see here. Which one is it? Okay, it's that one. Oh, come on. And then it's this one. Oh, money. And now we do that. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Lumos. Lumos. You can tell I've done this before. Took me a while to figure it out the first time around. You did it. But of course, it's me. Bombarda. Sorry, I wasn't going to show that, but okay. <laughs> not, not with Poppy. Are we still good there, Poppy? <laughs> Are you going to hate me now? Oh. Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Okay, is that actually... Yep, that looks like something to get. Classical school robe. <laughs> Merlin's beard. Be. I just know it. We found it.
Incendio. Okay, where did Poppy go? Oh, there she is up there. <laughs> it's like, why didn't I not see her? Weird. I swear I really didn't see her. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. I thought she would be too. up here. We need every advantage didn't look the like poaches it. if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. Nightfall. Oh. That's the henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly <laughs> at the end of this. I think that's it over there. Okay, let's see here. How do we get down? How's your okay. grand doing, by the way? Nothing keeps grand down. <sighs> She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. Mm. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. Say we know where the moonstone goes. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran I've managed to see not one, but two Moongarf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... If you don't want to talk about it, we don't have to. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead more money i suppose i'd finally had enough i freed highwing and we ran we'd flown for ages when i spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed to watch them it felt like an omen a good one a sign that the worst was over what do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over you see the night i freed highwing was also the night i ran away from home a poacher camp i come from a family of poachers Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I Obviously. got, the more apparent it became. 
Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. Yeah. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. <laughs> what was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around. Always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. <coughs> If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Hmm. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. Yeah. I think the pattern. <laughs> yeah, was pretty quick. <laughs> At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. All right, folks, I'll probably be right back, so take care, please like and subscribe.